Hello, everybody. This is Karamas Wiz018. And let's see, is it gonna let me? Yep. Anyway, this is gonna be my thoughts on Fairy Tale episode 107, I think. Let me check real quick. Because uh, I don't wanna say the wrong thing. Yeah. Episode, Fairy Tale episode 107. Okay. I would have gotten this out yesterday, but I just wasn't in the mood. I really wasn't. Because I didn't get to spend time with Travis yesterday because his brother-in-law borrowed the car and God only knows how long he had it. So yeah, I did not get to spend time with him at all. And I can't today because he hasn't gotten any sleep and he needs sleep. So yeah, I'm not going to bother him. Anyway, um, for this episode, it showed essentially the bit of a conclusion for uh, Evergreen and Alphamon's fight, and it they lost, essentially. And apparently you find out that the guy's magic is the, ar I guess, Ark of Creation, where he can just... Essentially, his magic is limited to what his imagination can create, essentially. Which is not good for a villain to have that kind of magic. Because you're essentially screwed. Yeah. But Elkman earned quite a bit of respect in my book. On how what he said to the guy before starting to fight him again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we didn't get to sadly see if they survived the last attack he had. Because he went to straight to... Ep uh, what did it go straight to? Oh, it went straight to the fight with Loki and the others against Carpico. And I think a few other things happened in this episode, so... Hang on. I need to make sure. Mm, yep, it's on. Alright. Just making sure, because... Uh, never mind. I turned my mic off earlier yesterday, so... Anyway, um... What else do I have to say? Well, we find out that Caprico had been contracted to Lucy's mother before she died. At least in the end of the episode, anyway, we see this. But, surprisingly, apparently Caprico has been outside the spirit world for, how long did he say? 17 years? But... How old is Lucy at this point? If somebody could fill me in on how old she is at this point in the show, not after the time skip, but, at, you know, at this point in the show, at this episode, because I always assumed that she was at least 18, but she could be older for all I know. I have no idea. Anyway, um... But yeah, we find out that, and Luke, uh, Loki sends the others away because it's easier for him to fight Caprico because his magic apparently saps the strength of its opponents, but celestial spirits are immune to it. So that's why he's able to fight at this point without anybody else. And apparently Caprico wants to end up killing Lucy because he realized who she was. Uh, but ne don't worry, next episode we'll find out why. Anyway, um, those were the main things I think that happened in this episode. Uh, oh, besides, um, Mest, Mest, even though I think that actually is his name, uh, meets up with the rest of the... Uh, Magic Council forces that were, you know, were on the ships that got blown up earlier. Thankfully, most of them survived, I think. I think. Some of them obviously got wounded, but they're working on obviously trying to fix things. And the guy who was leading them that we saw in... Actually, no, you guys didn't see that part because you guys had me skip ahead to the episodes I hadn't seen before we got to that point. The guy who runs, is in charge of a certain section of the Magic Council... That came and arrested Jalal and Hot Eye as well, who had turned good by that point. 
yeah, he was on the ships at the time, and he informed Mess that if uh, their boss tells them, when you know, they're going to obviously tell their boss what's going on, but if their boss tells them to fire the Ethereum cannon on Tendril Island, then they have to, they have to do it. And Mest told them no, because, yes, fairy tale has done things in the past, but they don't deserve the same treatment as Zeref and Grimoire Hart. But sadly, they ha- if their boss tells them, they have to do it. They have to follow orders. But I don't think we ever got to see who ended- who was going to be telling their boss, him or Mest. Because he had asked him, should I tell them or should you tell them? So we don't think we ever got an ant an- an- response on that. Anyway, that was uh, all I have to say on the episode. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say on the episode, and I will see you all next time. I'll try and get the next one up as soon as I can, I promise.